chimpanzees. Today, we will speak about peroxidases in the cactus Apuntiaficus indica. This is a scientific research topic where the results were published in the Journal of Molecular Catalysis B. Anzipatic under the title New Investigations on the Gaia Col Peroxidase of Apuntiaficus indica and its motivation by ascorbic acid and copper towards an optimization of quantitative and qualitative tests. This work, New Investigations on the Gaia Col Peroxidase of Opuntiaficus indica and its moderation by ascorbic acid and copper towards an optimization of quantitative and qualitative tests. This work was carried out on many ecotypes of the cactus Opuntiaficus indica collected in Morocco, North Africa. Peroxidases was extracted from cladodes of 10 ecotypes and two substrates were used to test the enzyme activities. The first one is the orthodianisidine and the second one is the guayacol, which gives guayacol peroxidase. When compared with orthodianisidines as substrates for peroxidase, guayacol as substrates give a kinetics typified by a lag time here and here and here for many uh, ecotypes. This uh, lag time is not frequent in the case of autodialysidines and a part of 80% of ecotypes showed lag time kinetics with the core versus only 10% when using autodialysidine. The objective of this study is the optimization of quantitative tests of the Gaia Col peroxidase of Puntiaficus indica and also the optimization of the qualitative tests of this enzyme studied by electrophoresis. How Gaia Col peroxidase could be modulated? It could be modulated by interfering molecules. Interfering molecules that cause lag time in peroxidase kinetics could be small size antioxidants co-extracted with the enzyme. They are endogenous molecules. The small molecules could be discarded by a size-based chromatography such as filtration on cephadic G25. As a result, Gaia Col peroxidase activity showed no lag time kinetics in filtered extract through cephadic G25. This data supported the involvement of small molecules in the lag time appearance. Endogenous ascorbic acid, like here, could be included in this range. The addition of exogenous ascorbic acid leads to the same inhibition form lag time when tested on Cephadex G25 filtered enzyme fraction. When we use increased concentration of ascorbic acid, the lag time increased also. A positive correlation between lag time and ascorbic acid concentration has been verified. A correlation factor was established at 0.86. Electrophoretic analysis of peroxidases on polyacrylamide gels followed by their revelation in the presence of ascorbic acid at different concentrations led to the disappearance of different isoperoxidases at zones A1 and A2. The reappearance of these isoperoxidases was noted only after 30 minutes of incubation. Contrarily to ascorbic acid, when copper is added in the relation solution at different concentration like 0.5 millimolar and 1 millimolar, fast new isoperoxidases appeared on the polyacrylamide gel. Finally, this study participates in the optimization of the enzyme test at two levels, improving the use of guayacol, a naturally occurring organic compound as substrates during the spectrophotometry-based assay, and two, setting a suitable staining solution of Opuntiaficus indica isoperoxidases separated by electrophoresis on polyacrylamide gels. This could be achieved 
by adding copper at a concentration range of 0.5 to 1 millimolar in reaction mixtures intended to verify the presence of peroxidase by spectrophotometry based tests and enzyme staining after electrophoresis. As applications, this study could contribute to the investigation of more mark based genetic diversity in the spices of Pontificus indica where plantations are increasing in dry land.